gun battles outside the peace jerga as the Afghan security forces intercept and kill two suicide bombers. It was all clearly audible to the 1,600 delegates. Rocket fire overhead. No one of the Jirga was hurt though. There have now been two impacts and explosions in the short time since this peace Jirga was opened by President Karzai. He is seen by the Taliban as an American puppet and they won't have anything to do with the government as long as foreign forces are here. The Americans are telling Mr Karzai not to have any contacts with the Taliban until they lay down their arms. It is to get beyond this impasse that the peace jerga has been called. President Karzai hopes it will give him a national mandate to start dealing with the Taliban. Make peace with me, he says, addressing the militants, and there'll be no need for the foreign forces here. Everybody knows that this is not going to be solved militarily, neither by the rockets which came close here, neither by the war in the conflict. It's going to be a negotiation. And this happens often when the negotiation starts, that the conflict gets tenser. Everybody's repositioning himself. That prospect terrifies Adela. She lost her husband to a Taliban suicide bomber. No one is happy for the Taliban to come back, she says a prospect she equates with just talking to the militants. So Afghans are deeply divided over the prospect of any dealings with the Taliban. And even those behind the Jirga agree that peace in Afghanistan is still a long way off. Paul Wood, BBC News, Kabul.